Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam dan bahagia. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Adam Maulana. I'm from English Education Department student in Sarjana Wiyata Taman Siswa University. And this video is meant for filling my assessment of speaking for academic purposes. That today I'm going to do presentation or I'm gonna I'm gonna present my poster presentation. Okay, let's see my poster presentation. Okay, my title, my poster title is Language Variation Choice in Social Interaction Among Bilingual Speech Community. This journal is made by Pasuki, Umi Hartati, and Muklis, that also always also from English. Uh, from Sarjana Wiyata Taman Siswa University. Okay, uh, we, uh, we say the keyword of my poster presentation is bilingual speech community, language choice, language variation, and factor. Okay, we go to abstract part. This research was conducted in Surakarta and Yogyakarta, which are considered as a bilingual speech community, Javanese and Indonesian. So this researcher has believed that in Surakarta and Yogyakarta has con has uh, have mastered in two languages, or we say bilingual speech, bilingual language. That in this case, the bilingual is Japanese and Indonesian language. Um, the next is the data used for descriptive qualitative. Research is language variation within conversation used by bilingual Japanese and Indonesian speech. Qualitative research use qualitative data in the form of grammatical units, which are in the form of word, sentences, or discourse, not in the form of statistical. This, this research is was done in the social 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 speech community that it like those are like in the market terminal or campuses okay uh, this case researchers found a way to see variation choice among bilingual speech by their conversation and they classified becoming eight conversations language okay the first the first Conversation is Indonesian and Indonesian. Number two, number two is Indonesian and Java Krama. Number three, Indonesian with Java Ngoko. Number four is Java Krama with Java Krama. Number five is Java Krama with Java Ngoko. Number six, Java Ngoko with Java Ngoko. Number seven is Java Ngoko. I'm sorry, number seven is Java Krama in Indonesian, and number eight is Java Ngoko in Indonesian. So before the next explanation, so I will I will explain that Javanese language is divided by two. Okay, this subal subal languages, or we say Krama or Krama Ingil, is a yo know, subal subal language. And the second is offensive language, or we say uh, Java Ngoko. Um, okay, let's see the introduction part. The bilingual community is a community that speaks at least two languages. So bilingual is uh, the, the people that mastered in bilingual is the people that mastered in two languages. In this case, we say Javanese and Indonesian language. People who master languages tend to use both languages interchangeably in social interaction. This fact related in Surakarta and Yogyakarta, Indonesian language is usually used in formal situation and Javanese language is used in informal situation. So we can, we can summarize in that in that sentence is that in formal situation we use Indonesian Indonesian language like like in discussion or present presentation or anything else that that is 
formal situation. So in informal situation, we say we speak by by Javanese language, like like we talking every day when our our friend and when our yeah our neighbor in our daily life. Okay, there are two problems in this research. First, the large variety available provide the languages user more and more choices in using language. Maybe because there are six, um, sorry, there are nine, there are eight conversations. So maybe the people maybe feel confused to choose where, when we use that, that bilingual speed with that language is okay and number and the second problem is selection of variation used by both of speakers and interlocutor has underlying reason and background because uh, the speech variety is is used by usually he come from a different background so they use a different variation choice in bilingual speech like me i'm from south sumatra with java which is not very not a very subtle subtle language so i i say with the older people maybe with also java moko okay and the um, part the next is result of result and discussion part um this result results include one describing the form of the language variation choice that occurs in social interaction in bilingual speech community it means that the language variation choice can be seen by what are we talking with and who are we talking with when we talking with older people especially in javanese we as a younger people we say with java grama or or when we cannot say we can speak java grama we can use indonesian language uh, number two is describing factor affecting language variation choices within social interaction in bilingual social interaction in bilingual speech community Okay, the factors affecting the language variation are social status, habit, age, and unbalanced language acquisition that I will explain after this. Okay, and the third result is describing the social meaning of the choice of the languages variation that occurs in bilingual speech community. I think the social um social meaning from this journal is maybe we can be polite polite person by use indonesian or java krama with older people than than us and we can be good in social interaction through language various and choice community okay and the last the last explanation and the factor underlying the speech are social status, age, habits, and unbalanced, unbalanced language acquisition. Okay. Um, okay, from the factor part. Uh, speaker or interlocutor social status is often a consideration to determine the chosen variation. This means that by looking at the social status of the speaker and ourselves as opposed to speech. Yeah. Number two by fa factor number two is age okay Japanese people always respect older people younger people usually use high language variation or we say krama or java krama or krama ingil to older one and older people use lower language variation or java moko to older one in this case we as younger people is we say we can say uh trauma java krama we can say indonesian language okay the third third factor is habits uh, 
this case referred to something which become a common sense because because everyone within that speech community does it. In addition, habits can also be based on relationship between the speaker and interlocutor. It usually use moco by speak. Maybe in in this part is habit because we always say every day, every time, and maybe we we sometimes meet each other and do talking to each other. We say uh, normally in our informal situation. So we say uh, we speak with Java Moko. Okay. And number four is unbalanced languages acquisition. Is a bilingual in bilingual society, the language ability to speak both languages is never balanced. It's more difficult, yes. Like in the Surakarta, this research researcher uh, find that younger people cannot speak Java 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 Krama that because and these younger people want to want to speak with the older than than her. So they use Indonesian so they so so he used uh, Indonesian language to to prove the the less of the lack of the lack of he cannot use Java grammar. So the younger people the younger people speak with Indonesian language and the older people stay with Java grammar or maybe Java. Java Moko. Okay, I think enough of my presentation. I'm sorry if many mistakes. Thank you for your good attention. And I'm so sorry to Allah that I have many mistakes. Okay, if um, you can you can give me question by typing in comment column. In the next video, I will make a video that answer the question that you, yo, that give to me. And I try to answer by video. See you next time. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam.